What's up? Um, saw something yesterday that left me in shock and awe and uh, made me throw up a little bit in my mouth. So I figured I would share it with you. Saw a Pepsi ad for sustainability. Um, and it's laughable. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm actually getting very sick of this whole sustainability word. Just the word. Um, the goal of this Pepsi sustainability movement is disgustingly meager. Very short-sighted. It's not even on the same playing field uh, as sustainability. And then you have companies like Monsanto. Monsanto claims that they're the forerunner of this whole movement. Which is kind of funny because that's the same company that bioengineers seeds with suicide genes. That's not sustainable. I mean, what's next? And run about business ethics? This is getting ridiculous. I don't think sustainability's uh, gonna work. I don't. And, you know, I really want it to. Uh, but I don't think it's going to. Why should we be sustainable? I mean, this whole sustainability movement's just a bunch of tree huggers, and uh, this is some kind of democratic plot, like, like global warming, and it's not real, and... Okay. Whether or not you believe in global warming, you have to admit that oil's finite. There's a certain amount of it. We're going to use it up. Uh, some estimates say we'll use it up in 10 years. Some say 50. But just about the general consensus is that uh, within 100 years, we're going to run out of fossil fuels. What's sustainability? Uh, sustainability, uh, there's like three E's of sustainability. Uh, environment, ethics, and uh, economy. Okay, for the environment, um, sure, you need clean renewable energy, but the thing is, is we've already screwed this planet up. So, not only do we need energy that's clean and renewable, we need something that's actually regenerative to undo all the horrible things we've done to this planet. Ethics-wise, uh, social justice, uh, if you have a sustainable system that uh, ends up hurting people, <laughs> well, it's not sustainable, is it? Economy ends up uh, meaning just money to a lot of people. Uh, economy comes from a Greek word that means household management. Um, that's back in the day of Socrates, who was the original gangster, by the way. What is this household management? What does this mean for sustainability? And what does it mean on a national level? The management of all things of value in that country. Um, including money, but not just money. Uh, things like freedom, due process of law, the safety of the people, the health of the people, the sustainability that we're looking for uh, to continue our species is in stark contrast to the business, because um, business as we have it today puts profit before everything else, including people. So if we want sustainability, we don't need just a reform. We actually need to reinvent all of our social institutions. The Federal Reserve is a private corporation that makes the money um, for the United States of America. It's a bank. It's a private bank. And not only do they make our money and then make more money on top of that using um, fractional reserve system. Um, fractional reserve banking is what we use in America and it affects the rest of the world because everybody kind of followed in behind us after we became the superpower of the world and uh, shortly after World War II. Not only do they do that, but they charge us interest on top of it. What we really need is a resource-based economy. Um, something to take us off this fiat money. Well, Ian, do you want to go back to the gold standard? No. I don't want to go back to the gold standard. Uh, I don't think that we as people need that kind of illusion. I think that we've come to a certain point as humans that we shouldn't be trying to assign value to shiny things. So we need a system that puts people first. And that'd be sustainable because it's in the interest of that system to be sustainable, to keep people around. Because without people, there isn't an economy.